June 3rd and I thought I'd take advantage of this time since it's not so windy right now to do a garden tour walk um, so that you guys can see what's going on with my garden and how everything is coming along I think everything is coming along pretty fine it never fails I waited for the school. I live right next door to an uh, elementary school and they always, every morning, they do their announcements on the loudspeaker. I waited for it to happen and so it wouldn't uh, interrupt the, the sound in the video. And then next thing you know, there's trucks and stuff going by. Usually there's school buses going by making a lot of noise and you know, I'm used to that, but I don't know where that truck came from, why it's going down this small street, but oh well. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys see how my garden is coming along. I'm really happy with a lot of the things that's uh, popping up. I just planted a row, a new row of uh, beans here, and uh, they're popping out already only after a few days so that's really good my corn is getting really tall and full and and the ones that I added in that are different types of corn but I just added in to fill in the gaps um, they're doing good they're taken uh, I put them in and they had roots already and already had stems on them because um, I sprout the corn kernels for my chickens and so yeah I'm glad to see that they're opening up and and actually are doing well my sunflowers are getting taller my spaghetti squash is doing good and recovering from that bug that was eating them if you remember I had this one covered um, this one was covered up and well, I uncovered it, and it's doing fine. It's growing all these new leaves and stuff. And and so the one that I have under here, trying to protect it from the bugs, it's doing fine. There's no bug damage or anything to it, and it's staying nice and moist. Um, and they're growing fast because of the additional warmth and moisture in there. So that's always good. <laughs> but yeah, my tomatoes. I'm gonna be doing a, some videos, a series of videos and just talk specifically on what types of tomatoes, specific um, types that I'm growing and, and just talk specifically about um, each and each vegetable that I'm growing in my garden just a little more detailed each fruit and vegetable I should say because I do have some fruit growing but um <clears throat> I love these hollyhocks I didn't even plant them they planted themselves but I'm glad they did I guess some little bird decided I needed a little more joy in my life because <laughs> these are really pretty to look at anyways uh I'm going to do a series of little short videos um, talking about different things that I'm experimenting right now, talking about different components of gardening, such as soil, specifically just soil, um, specifically just types of vegetables that I'm growing, how I'm growing them, uh, what's working, what's not working, just specific little short details, video detailed videos about everything that opening shot was my pomegranate tree as you can see there's a lot of flowers and stuff not as many as last year last year this tree was overloaded with blooms and fruit and so much so that I gave it I gave bags and bags of it away to the community to neighbors and just people in the community that wanted it and um, this year I don't think I'll be able to do that because it's not as many since I pruned it back pretty heavily but 
I think it's still going to be a good enough uh, amount of harvest that's going to come off of there. I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are. At first, I was thinking leeks. Because when they came up, they kind of looked like leeks. So I was like, okay, I can deal with that. I, I've planted leeks back here before. So maybe that's just some ones that didn't sprout last year's um, season. So, But these are not leeks. They're way too tall, too big. Not to say that my leeks aren't big, but... It's just not right. They, they're they sitting upright, straight. Leeks usually kind of fall over to the side a little bit. The leaves do. They kind of hang a little bit. But these are just, I don't know. If you know what that is, let me know, please. Because I don't know what that is. It might be another flower of some sort popping out. Oh, look at my little lizard friend has come out to say hi. It's a good thing my cat doesn't know he's up here right now because my cat keeps attacking all my little lizards. <laughs> so, anyways, my chart is gone to seed. It's pretty. I'll probably leave it in there for right now. But, um, my peaches are getting bigger. This is my first time dealing with fruit trees and so I think um, I think these are doing pretty good uh, I think these are water spouts popping out or maybe that's like another branch or something I don't know new branches anyway so everything is filling in pretty nicely there are some gaps oh okay so this sunflower snapped in half the last bad winds we had coming through here and it's kind of hard to see but there was uh, another sunflower over here by where these um dandelions are it just recently snapped with the winds so both of my sunflowers are now snapped in half. I'm just leaving them to see what happens. I planted a couple more amongst the corn, so it would have a little bit more protection. And those are already sprouted, so they're doing pretty good so far. But yeah. You know, when they're not talking on the loudspeaker at the elementary school and big old trucks aren't rumbling through the neighborhood and your uh, airplanes that be flying over, we're not too far from an old uh, Air Force base that they've converted to um, just, they sold it to various uh, companies aeronautics companies or what avionics that's what it is avionics companies and stuff um and so we do get an occasional like cargo jet flying really low rattling the windows and stuff <laughs> but uh when all that stuff isn't happening it's pretty calm and quiet i think that's the thing that i'm really loving about gardening i like the connection to nature I like to see how things grow I'm excited every morning to come out and see what's new and I like the peacefulness the calm um, I have high blood pressure my husband does too and so uh, I don't know the last few times that I went to see my doctor my blood pressure has been really really good so I'm happy about that, and I attribute that to this garden of mine. It just keeps me nice and calm and puts me in a, a really good state of mind, even with all the stresses that's going on around me. I know that there's peace, peacefulness and calmness in my, in my garden. And so I look forward to my garden walks every morning. See, there's another. 
I think that one's a bus. <laughs> but, yeah. My apples. There's some more apple blooms. Yesterday I was able to get a clipping of a, from a fig tree at my mother-in-law's house. So, um, I'm going to try and plant that and see what happens. I'm not going to, I'm going to make a video of it, but I'm not going to post the video until I see what the results are. If it works or if it doesn't work, I'll still post a video about it, but and just share what I possibly did wrong, but we'll see. Hopefully it works out because I've never tasted fig, like fresh fig. I've had fig Newtons, but I've never just had fresh figs. And so I'm kind of curious to see. A lot of people talk about how sweet they are, how good they are. And I mean, if they're that good, and I want to have some of that goodness. <laughs> So, yeah, my mimosa, my hands over here. I almost flooded out my backyard yesterday because these girls, I have them set up on an automatic watering system. And anytime they, some water gets on the ground right around where their water container is, they, um, like to dust bathe right there and so they kick up all these rocks into the little cup that has the dispensers um the mechanism that dispenses that you engage to dispense the water and so they just drained a five gallon bucket of water so i thought i was being nice because yesterday was warm I thought I was being nice by uh, putting some water in there for them. And uh, I don't know, I guess I'm still getting used to the system. I put it on manual and when I put it on manual, it's only supposed to run for like 10 minutes and that was long enough to fill up their bucket. Well, it didn't automatically shut off. And so I was gone for like seven hours with the water just running. So a lot of things over on this side of the yard got a little flooded. I don't know how that's gonna look on my water bill, but you roll with the punches. So yeah. I like these little flowers over here. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but the pink ones, they're so pretty. I like the yellow ones too, but I like those pink ones. And then I have this sunflower that's opening up right here. I didn't even know those were in this. All of these planters right here were given to me by a friend from church. And so I really didn't know what to expect um at the time that he gave them these and the peach trees that i have to me um everything was dormant <laughs> so i didn't know what anything was gonna look like but those are my garlic i have to get out here and harvest these the rest of these because they're all falling over and that's supposed to be a telltale sign for soft neck variety when they start you know falling over like how onions do then that means they're ready so and this is going to be my little herb garden so i have to come out here and finish getting the rest of these weeds out of here and plant my herbs so yeah i'm slowly trying to get this mess into order <laughs> Uh, sometimes when I'm taping I uh, get quiet just because I love the stillness of my garden I like a lot of the peacefulness so if you hear me pausing a lot it's because I'm just like 
in awe of how pretty everything is and how well everything is growing and so but well I guess I'll let that be it this morning I have to take my son back to his base uh, my son is in the Navy and he was uh, out to sea for a while and as soon as he came back I didn't get a chance to see him for Mother's Day and uh, as soon as he got back he let us know he was back and we picked him up and uh, he spent the weekend with us it's always nice to have my older kids home um, I have four kids all together two that are out on their own both of the two that are adults are in the Navy um, serving our country and proudly doing so and so it's always nice when they are able to come home and and visit so I gotta get him back because it's gonna be a two and a half hour drive just taking him back to where his base is so I just wanted to share this little bit of peacefulness with you guys and um, just show you an update. Like I said, I'll be more specific on videos. Shorter, the more de detailed videos coming up and updates on, on like my swimming pool kitty garden that I did. And um, I'm still going to put out a video on my chickens, just all about my chickens and how I feed them and what I feed them and why I feed them what I do and <clears throat> and why I feel it's the best thing for my situation and yeah and then just continue to share whatever I can think of I, I think of all kinds of ideas but then in the mornings is the best time for me to film because it's not so windy as the day progresses, it gets so windy, and I don't want you guys to have to deal with air noises. Um, but, okay, you guys. Well, if you've watched this video all the way to the end, I'm so thankful for that. And um, if you would like to continue to see my videos and see the progression of this garden that I started, then um, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Um, click like on the videos. Please leave comments. Um, I love to hear from you. Any suggestions you might have for anything that you see any questions you might have. Um, I really love the feedback. Um, and then share the videos with your friends. Uh, but I thank you for watching and for um, sharing in this with me. Until the next video, God bless.